Geometric is a series um, um, for which the um, ratio of each two uh, oh I got I got I got uh, consecutive terms is a constant function uh, summation yeah okay remember comes down here okay okay so you think give me no brain book uh, I'm gonna pass it at brain book today um, as Jalen said a geometric series is Series with a ratio of two consecutive terms is a constant function of the summation. Okay, anybody know what uh, arithmetic series is? Arithmetic series is a series which has a constant difference between terms of two equations of arithmetic series. Thank you guys for reading out the book. <laughs> okay, now it's time to get started on the classwork. Now I'm going to tell y'all the formulas for geometric and arithmetic theories. A times open parentheses 1 minus r to the nth power close parentheses over 1 minus r is the geometric formula. To find the sum of the sequence, to find the sum of the geometric sequence, the equation is a n equals a times r to the n subtract the one power. This is the explicit rule. To find the summation notation of the geometric formula, the equation is n the crazy looking e a and k equals one. K will always equals one at the bottom. Here's an example. 2, 8, 32, and 128. As you can see, the common ratio is 4 times 4 times 4. So you have to plug in you have to plug it into your equation. As you can see, looking for the ninth term. So as you can see. I already have my equation set up. And the A, no, and the N term we're looking for is 9. The A term, the first term is 2. The ratio is 4. The N term is 9 minus 1. So you plug in all your values and you do your calculations. And you have 2 times 65,536. Now, to figure out which geometric series these are, you have to use Betsy Bobo Bolti D. Looking at the degrees, you see if the bottom equals the top, then it's the coefficient. If the bottom is bigger on top, then it's zero. No, if it's bigger on bottom, it equals zero. If it's bigger on top, then it doesn't exist. And I have these C, this these C's and this D right here because if the bottom equals the top, it is convergence. If the bot, if it's bigger on bottom, then it is also convergence. However, if it's if it is bigger on the top, then it is divergence. For example, looking at these, they are both equal, so it's Betsy which is convergence and then 
use the coefficient so it's four it's um, bigger on top because this one doesn't have an, a degree so it is divergence I have taught you geometric arithmetic theories the summation notation using the explicit rule and the, the convergence and divergence to geometric series and find the sum of the nth terms.